Hello, my model building friends and clients. This is Frank with Galactic Modeler. And, uh, we just finished the flying sub a while ago. And now, uh, we're working on the sea view. And have just completed the hardest part of the sea view is the bridge. Uh, there's a lot of little parts and it's not real difficult, but it's time consuming. And uh, I put the crew in and painted each crew member the colors of their uniforms. And I've uh, hooked up some uh, fiber optics for the uh, doors, lights. I hooked up some extra LED, an extra LED in the side of the bridge cabin here. Because I've noticed a lot of guys that built the sea view, uh, the upper upper part of the bridge you put lights um above that um and it lights the the bridge area fairly well but the light doesn't seem to come down into the uh uh lower bridge area very well on most of the builds i've seen so i put an extra led off to the side behind a cabinet which will light up that uh, whole area so uh what I did is I uh, put fiber optics in the uh, command <coughs> center there, the operational area that the uh, pilot sits in, and then I put a, uh, built a computer wall with a bunch of uh, fiber optics kind of flashing at different rates to replicate a computer. And when we get into the next part of the build then, uh, I'll, I'll uh, put two micro switches, one for the main lighting, the white lighting, and then one for the, uh, you know, uh, warning mode or, you know, attack mode. And that will uh, make the whole bridge area, the cabin area, red. But uh, I'll turn on the lights that we've installed here so far. And uh, we're going to go through this whole build from beginning to end. So you guys... They're building one of these might get some uh, useful stuff. So uh, what I did is I uh, put fiber optics in the uh, command <coughs> center there, the operational area that the uh, pilot sits in, and then I put a, uh, built a computer wall with a bunch of uh, fiber optics kind of flashing at different rates to replicate a computer. And when we get into the next part of the build then, uh, I'll, I'll uh, put two micro switches, one for the main lighting, the white lighting, and then one for the, uh, you know, uh, warning mode or, you know, attack mode. And that will uh, make the whole bridge area, the cabin area, red. But uh, I'll turn on the lights that we've installed here so far. Take the lower area of the bridge. And I like that much better because, like I say, a lot of the bridges that I've seen, uh, the lower area isn't lit very well at all. So, and I like the computer wall that we set up here for the sea view. Yeah. And there's a guy standing up in the uh, top uh, observation deck and a guy standing down by the map which is all nicely lit up it's a little too bright in here but anyway the map's lit when we get into the uh, build, further build of the thing uh, that'll really look cool back there okay and we just fed the fiber optics to the wall and Fed them through the back doors here. There's a fiber optic for the lower door and a fiber optic for the upper door. Hello, my model building friends and clients. This is Frank with GalacticModeler.com. And today we're building the sea view. You better have a lot of room because this thing's four feet long almost when it's done. Anyway, I, uh, I started out, you know, the instructions show that you build the uh, cabin first. So I've got the cabin done. I've got all the guys painted in their uh, 
their uh, uniform tans and little black belts and black shoes, the whole works. And I uh, put a computer wall in here that's not studio correct. But that wall and that area was just too boring, so I had to I had to do that. <laughs> and uh, then uh, I put some fiber optics in the command center here, the pilot that's uh, running the sub. And I put some fiber optics in the rear doors. And I put some uh, a trick I got from uh, Boyd Crompton. Actually, he got from another guy, but he shared it was I took some milk cartons, cut them out and put them in the rear of the doors and put a put an LED behind that. So anyway, I put an LED behind those doors. Uh, typically guys just uh, block them off. They come with little door covers and they're just nothing. But I thought it would be interesting to have the doors look like they're uh, you know, going back into a hallway. And the opaque door gives that effect. Also, most of the guys' uh, builds I've seen, the lower deck or the lower part of the bridge is real dark because you put the lights above the bridge up here shining down and uh, the light doesn't really reach the lower level. So, I drilled a hole behind a cabinet and put an LED back behind the cabinet that uh, lights the lower level. And uh, I've got my mirror all lit, or my uh, map all lit up. That's looking good. So the bridge is pretty much done and ready to put in. Uh, these computer deals, I'm going to have them on a separate switch. So I can run the computer and that all that stuff if I want to, or I could turn it off and just have the bridge lit up real nice. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. One of the great things about living in Minnesota is having a cold six months out of the year. Okay. Now, uh, I've run the lights... Uh, for the top of the uh, bridge here, up in the top of the sub, and they'll shine down into this bridge area. I've already test fitted up in there, and it looks wonderful. I put two 5 millimeter LEDs uh, white, two 5 millimeter LEDs red, that I painted with uh, t uh, clear red paint from Model Masters. And it looks really good. I've got my spotlight in. I've got my uh, underneath the sub lights in. These uh, underneath spotlights. And I won't turn the red ones on right now. You know, whoop, I hit the zoom button. Sorry, guys. Anyway, I won't turn <clears throat> the red ones on right now. But... It's, uh, it's coming along. And uh, next we'll be filming the conning tower. I've got that done. and I'll sh It's uh, <clears throat> still a part. Before I glued it together, I wanted to show you what I did inside that. But uh, that's pretty much it. The nice thing about this flying sub, and I didn't know it until I got into the build, is it comes with uh, the way it's built. Once you put it all together... The rear part here, this whole area slides out. This rear tail fin just slides back. So you can put your batteries down in there and access all kinds of stuff, which is going to be great. I thought I was going to have to put the batteries down in a stand. But it turns out this whole rear section just slides right in it. And it doesn't fit crappy. It fits really good. I'll be back. Okay, modelers, this is Frank again. We're back with the coning tower. And uh, what I did is uh, I ran um, fiber optics into uh, the front of the coning tower. 
up into the uh, 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 cover area here where the guys, there's a little porthole where they can crawl up in there. And uh, then I've got a rear marker light and uh, I've got a rear camera light. I decided to light the cameras just to be different. Then the Coney Tower, I'm going to have that <clears throat> also go into the, uh, you know, attack or uh, alert mode when uh, the sub is under attack or in a uh, or in an attack position. Um, uh, leave yourself enough wire to run the wires from the red lights in the bridge area back to the coning tower and hook that up to the red light in the coning tower and then run that back to a switch. I'm also going to drop and catch the torpedo because when the red lights are on in the bridge in the conning tower, I feel that uh, <clears throat> the torpedo should be in the launch mode at that time, which makes sense. Um, I've got this set up. I've got a couple wires here I can just touch, and you'll see the, uh, there we go. There's the bright white light for the uh, Connie Tower windows when the sub is in normal operation. And we'll get the little red one here and touch that to the, there we go. And there's the red one when we're in an, an attack situation or a defense situation. Yeah, there we go, red. So, I'll hook up the reds in the bridge and the red in the conning tower <clears throat> and run that back to a switch underneath the sub. And I'll hook that to the torpedo. So just, uh, you know, the kit comes with a pulsating torpedo. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, you'll notice I use reflective tape everywhere. <laughs> That's a great light blocker, and you can just glue your LEDs right to it. And I just took my fiber optics and just ran them right down to... I'm going to turn the switch off so you can see better here, because that light's kind of blinding. Okay, now I've got the lights turned off. And you can see I just laid a 5 millimeter LED right here on the... Uh, reflective duct tape <clears throat> glued it there ran my wires to it so it's uh you know ready to be lit and then i took the fiber optics and just ran them right from the uh areas i wanted them make sure you touch a, a cigarette lighter on the end of them to uh balloon them that kind of blossoms them makes them brighter and uh, my camera's lit up in the tower uh, control area for the guys, that's lit. And then the front camera is lit. It will be lit. Uh, <clears throat> when you're doing something like this, <clears throat> sometimes you get a lot of wires going on. I put a little piece of tape on them, you know, and we'll string them down th through the conning tower. You have to cut a hole in the uh, uh, sub where the conning tower sits, run the wires down in, and then I mark them. This is Port Starboard, Maine. And this is the uh, white and this is the red. So that way when I run the wires down, they can find, find them easier. Otherwise, you can fool around for a long time. <laughs> but uh, I'm ready to seal the conning tower up now and start getting it ready to mount. The color I used was a tester's color. It's a blue metallic. I just love it. It's not... Uh, too dark, not too bright. Um, I'll get the can and show it to you here when I'm almost at the end. And then this this LED here that I ran the fiber optics to, once you're done, you don't need that blasting. So I'll take some uh, Model, Model Masters uh, black here, and this is a flat black acrylic, real fast drying, and I'll paint that. LED so it's not uh, throwing light into the conning tower when I don't want it to I just want that white light to light them windows and the red light to light the windows so we'll darken that LED down 
with black and we'll probably paint the fiber optics black too so they don't bleed any light um the clear red is right here and this is the acrylic uh transparent red you can get it in blue and green for your starships and all your other hobbies uh, it's great stuff and that's what i used uh to make my uh conning tower red light so basically now that I've shown you this, I get to seal it up and glue it together, sand it again, put a final coat of paint on it. I'll mask off those windows and the uh, <coughs> port starboard and LEDs with little pieces of tape. But yeah, I've got them uh, them uh, three millimeter LEDs in for the port starboard lights, and they'll just run off the main lighting. They'll be lit all the time. So, uh, you'll get enough micro switches that things that you, you want to, uh, turn on and off, like your, I'm gonna have my computer and, uh, 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 flight bridge area there, uh, panel, the flashing lights. I'm gonna have those so I can have them on off when I want. And, uh, then I'll have it so I flip a switch and the red lights come on in the bridge. The warning lights come on in the conning tower, and the torpedo gets ready to launch with a pulsating LED. This kit is going to look awesome when I'm done. Uh, so I'll have uh, you know a few different micro switches mounted on the bottom of the sub. But uh, we're coming. So now I'll glue this conning tower together, and I'll be back, and I'll have it mounted on the sub, and probably have the first front part of the sub uh, painted and stuff so i'll see you guys in a little while bye bye hello my model building buddies and clients this is frank with galactic modeler and we have the sea view all put together and done there's the crew in there The windows that came with it, I didn't like them. I threw them away <laughs> and I went to a hobby store and just got some uh, real thin film plastic and put them in the place. The windows are real thick and they distorted to the point where you couldn't even see the pilots or the crew. There's the conning tower in its normal lighting mode. By the way, the paint color I used was uh, Tester's Nassau Blue. It's kind of a, it's a real pretty blue. It's got a slight metallic to it. It's kind of a blue gray, but it's more leaning towards the blue. I've seen these subs painted 500 colors. <laughs> Light gray, medium gray, blue gray, dark gray, yellow. <laughs> and I decided to paint mine that NASA blue. I love that color. There's the conning tower. There's the radar. There's the flagpole. I did a little extra lighting. I, uh, our lighting kit for the CB will come with fiber optics. I saw a couple guys on, on YouTube, uh, add a couple little fiber optics in areas like right here. And I haven't seen many of them, uh, do the fiber optics I did in the conning tower, but that's fine. But I liked it. And then we've got our, as Boyd Crompton calls them, our rear Cadillac tail lights, and um, those are three millimeter LEDs, which are included in our lighting kit for the Sea View. Uh, what I did, I hooked them up, and they looked good, but they were too bright. So I took some uh, Model Masters white paint and just kind of kept uh, painting them and painting them until 
they toned down to a reasonable color. Okay. Pretty awesome. Man, it's a big, big submarine, big model, so you better have some room because it's, uh, it's like pushing four feet long. It seems like it's ten feet long. But what a beautiful submarine. They were so far ahead of their time with the uh, design of this thing. I mean, to this day, nothing is cool as the CV submarine. No, no sub has ever matched its uh, design. Now we're going to set it up for uh, emergency mode and the red lights will come on in the uh, bridge and in the conning tower and we'll get our torpedo set up. I'll be right back. Okay guys, now we're in the uh, attack mode and uh, You'll notice that the lights in the bridge and the conning tower have went into the uh, red mode. And you'll notice that our, uh, our computer walls highly activated because now we're uh, now we're in the emergency mode with the uh, flashing red lights in the bridge and all shits hit the fan and the flying sub has been released so that it can be part of the fight against the enemy and of course they're launching Polaris missiles and our lighting kit comes with a uh, pulsating missile LED which I think is cool I've seen a lot of guys light them with just a Static LED just lit no pulsating, but I think the pulsating gives it a lot more interest And then I did a little Extra thing here, which I do on almost everything I build uh, I felt that uh, Just a minute I got to get a better view here. I'll be right back I felt that when the sub went into the emergency attack mode that the uh, standard propeller should be shut down and the emergency high-tech turbo engine should kick in and that's what we have just like the flying sub has uh, pulsating engines the uh, sea view when it goes into the defensive attack mode has pulsating engines that are a hundred times more powerful so I thought that was kind of cool so we'll include those extra LEDs if you decide to do that because uh, I thought that was a nice kind of neat effect that no one else has done and I always like to do things no one else has done it's not studio correct but it doesn't matter we're building this to be cool not studio correct that is pretty darn awesome <laughs> I love it what a ship like I said what's really neat is this whole top panel here slides back and you can access your batteries and uh, switches and wiring 
Yeah, it's one big ship, man. It is one big ship. Yeah, I had a lot of fun building it. I suggest you get one. We sell a lot of lighting kits for this uh, this baby. And like I said, I use Nassau Blue. If you like the color on this video and you decide you want that color, that's pretty much what the box art is. Uh, just pick up some testers. Nassau Blue. That is one big submarine. <laughs> Alright, we're going to turn it around and do one more view of it, and we'll call it a, a... Well, now we're back into our safety mode. We've killed the enemies and blew them all up, and everything's back to normal. <laughs> yeah, I highly suggest you put that extra light in the lower uh, area of the bridge because a lot of the like I say a lot of the bridges I've seen uh, you can't even see the seats or the figures or anything well, there she is Magnificent model. And I have to say, I have to give uh, Mobius a ton of credit. That's one of the best molded models I've ever worked with. Everything fit together just mint. I mean, a couple minor things, but you know, every model is going to have a couple little things. But this was nothing. I mean, compared to some of the Rebel Monogram, MPC, and other kits I've built. This thing was so smooth. So basically we covered it all from uh, beginning to end. Um, the wiring, you know, just leave yourself enough wiring when you wire these, you know, your bridge and your conning tower. The sub is in two pieces. And it splits somewhere in the middle there. I did a pretty good job. You can, and I still could use a little more filler right there and just a little dusting of paint again. But I'll probably come back and do that later on. But uh, run your wiring. Leave yourself enough wiring so you can go back and hook to your switches. I just mounted mine underneath those rear uh, engine areas so you can easily reach back and... Uh, you know hit them yeah we'll just we'll shut the girl down here let's see if I can <laughs> find them there we go Bink. and there's the rear one there we go and there there uh, everything shut down and the guys are ready to crawl in their bunkers and take a nap. But yeah, I highly suggest to you uh, go get some real thin mill plastic and uh, do the windows. They just look a lot better. Now just take your time, cut them out. Keep the other ones for templates, the original that come with it. But man, they're, they're like an eighth of an inch thick. They're just ridiculously thick. That's the only thing that uh, Mob Mobius could do. They could work on their windows a little on this kit just make them real thin so that they don't uh, distort the interior because when you look in there if the model's lit uh... you know yeah <laughs> alright there she is the sea view